Tag Assistant lets you troubleshoot and verify the implementation of tags on your website by navigating through your website and seeing which events and data are collected by those tags. Before we get started, we recommend installing the Tag Assistant companion extension for Chrome, which lets you debug in the same browser window so you can switch between your website and Tag Assistant. You can find a link to the tool in the video description. All right, to connect Tag Assistant to your website, go to tagassistant.google.com and then enter your domain or your website's URL. Click connect. Now, as you navigate through your website, Tag Assistant will update information about your tags, like events triggered and data sent. When connecting your website, you'll see an option called Include Debug Signal in the URL. When you select this option, Tag Assistant adds a special parameter, underscore DBG, to your website's URL, so you can debug activity from other services like Google Analytics Debug View. Tag Assistant is made up of a few main parts. First, you'll see the tag IDs along the top. Select one to see the collected data associated with that tag ID. On the left, you'll see a summary of the data collected, individual sessions, and individual events triggered during your session. Click an event to reveal its details, including the API call in gtag.js or the data layer, the parameters included with the event, other advanced settings like consent management and errors. Then you can sift through these tabs to see if what you expect to be collected is actually coming through. If Tag Assistant doesn't connect, here's a few things that you can try. Make sure that the Google tag is installed on the page you're testing. Check out the videos in this series to help on installing the Google tag. Try disabling this option when connecting to Tag Assistant. Make sure that you install the Tag Assistant Companion extension to debug tags in iframes. Redirects can also sometimes prevent Tag Assistant from loading. Also, it's probably a good idea to temporarily disable ad blockers while testing with Tag Assistant. And then finally, you can configure consent tools to allow Google Tags to function properly. For information about how to share your debug sessions so others can help you figure out your problem, check the documentation linked in the description of this video. All right, in this video, we covered the basics of Tag Assistant, a tool that can help you validate and troubleshoot your Google Tag implementation. Happy measuring.